I'm only going to say this to you because I love you, okay? You're like a brother to me. But, um, you literally are the worst person I've ever met. <laughs> Like you're just an all-around terrible human being. Thanks for watching Blimey Cow. This episode is sponsored by Unbound and made possible by viewers like you. Welcome to Christian Meme Review. We've got some memes and we have some ama- well, just one amazing <laughs> announcement that is going to change your life and our lives because it's something new that we're going to be doing on this channel. We're launching the Blimey Cow podcast. Again. We're bringing it back. It was the number one podcast on iTunes for one day. Wow. Even beat This American Life. <laughs> this is incredible. In 2013. <laughs> We're bringing it back on YouTube. Yes, it's it gonna is. be a video podcast. Yes, we are going to take it to the next level. <laughs> We're gonna start making long videos on our channel. Yes. That's what you guys need to hear. <laughs> when YouTube shorts are really popular. <laughs> Look, you're looking through your feed and you see three minutes, four minute videos. No. Are you clicking those? Not good enough anymore. No. Why would you watch three to four well scripted funny minutes when you, instead you can watch 45 minutes, an hour of just talking exactly. slowly, vocal fry. That's not what the Blimey Cow podcast no, is No, no. In We've fact, learned it's going to be their mistakes. the opposite of vocal yes. fry. So that's launching on May 11th. Let's get to the memes. Honestly, dude, I'm in a season of singleness right now, but that's like completely by choice because there's just like no girls deserving of how amazing I am. Dude, it's like honestly just like a bunch of Jezebels and Delilahs run around here at this church. Like what in the actual hawk? <laughs> Dude, like, they couldn't teach me anything spiritually. I'm just too theologically sound, you know? Also, dude, God's love is not reckless, dude. Why in the heck were we playing that song to that church, dude? <laughs> <laughs> the heck? Uh, yeah, fellas. Let's just say as the first married guy in our men's Bible study, you guys are going to want to get married. Okay? <laughs> it's pretty sick. You need to get married, like, right now. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Half the guys in the church are like, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Wait, this is gonna be so dumb, and it obviously this isn't what it is. But when I saw this, I I, thought, I, I know what you're gonna say. What? In M Night Shyamalan movie? Yeah, dude, that's so funny. Why do we think? Why does? Why does it seem like no, that? No, that looks like the one where it's like it was the environmentally friendly one. They were trying to get us to go green. <laughs> That was that, that happening? No, yeah, this is that happening. Was the happening. To me, this looked like signs, even though I know it's not signs. I think the what? house and I knew it was wrong too, but I knew that's what you <laughs> were gonna say. That's what's even weirder. Biblical angels, fear not. Also biblical angels. I had this song stuck in my head for two days. You you heard me pick it out. That is so weird. <laughs> I literally in the shower driving here, I was singing that song. Really? Yeah, and then you just pull it up. I'm not even exaggerating. This is like uh, Love is Blind. What is happening? I don't know. I uh, what, wow. That's a good affirmation. Have sweet dreams. You too. Can someone hug me? Why? Was it, are you happy? Like, yeah, it's like my heart is racing. Don't be suspicious. 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 <laughs> What in the world was that? I'm a missionary because the people of insert tropical destination need the gospel too. Gonna maybe hand out a, a Gideon Bible. Yeah. When I go to hotels, I always open up all the drawers to see if it's a Christian hotel. <laughs> You know what? Oftentimes now, Josh, there's no Bible. There's no. I, I always see the Gideon Bible. Yeah. Ma maybe someone took it. They, they're there for people to to take, huh? and then they'll come and replace them. Oh, I thought that you just left them there. You read them and left them. I didn't know you could just take them. I would be I mean, taking these all the time. Why would you take the Gideon Bible? It's a special Bible. It was at the hotel that you had a nice time at. All right. Well, maybe some uh, <laughs> other genius, <laughs> as big brain as you, had that same thought. <laughs> I don't want you to think that the hmm. world is getting more secular, Jordan. Maybe, maybe some... people are looking for God harder. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, okay. <laughs> there. At the end of the day, we are all human beings, and together we will rise. Let us pray. Ramen. Dude, this isn't funny. I'm telling you, I was at a birthday party yesterday, uh -huh. and a little kid w told me a joke. He said, what vegetable is a Christian or something? And he, and he said, let us pray. 
He said, let us pray, and I what laughed at him. I said, that was clever, buddy. What is happening? I don't know. I don't. Pastor, come over to the house tonight for pizza and Bible study. The house. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you something, another thing that's really weird. I'm not even kidding you. Yesterday, You've been I to was, this house? Yes. No, yesterday I was driving. There was an amazing leather chair on the side of the road. And I said, Sarah, look at that leather chair. Let's go get that. We kept driving and I saw, and it looked just like this. No. And I said, it, this was forget it. And we kept driving wow. past the dumpster. Why? Was it, are you happy? Like, yeah, it's like my heart is racing. You're going to make this meme review twice the size by having a comment having after a, everything. This is what the podcast is going to be, okay? <laughs> Guys, we have gotten such great feedback about this book that has been been offered to the Blimey Cow viewers. So if you haven't checked it out yet, listen up. Do you want to take an honest look at yourself in the mirror, but you're kind of afraid to do so? Maybe you've taken a personality test in the past, but you felt like you were adapting your real life personality to, to what the words on the test results were saying about you? Don't do that. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> Our friends at Unbound just released an awesome book, which we just mentioned, called The Personal Triangle, The Skills You Need to Live Life Well, and they're offering a free download of the full-length book exclusively for Blimey Cow viewers. Very polite. Unbound specializes in training young adults with the skills and abilities they need to live and work effectively in the real world. And here's the honest truth. Your gifts, strengths, and skills can't be crammed into nine categories, 16 types, or four quadrants. You are far more uniquely created than that. And this book is not, it's not a personality test. It's a model to help you capitalize on your core strengths. You'll have to intentionally account for your weaknesses and then grow in the direction that your interests take you. If that sounds cool to you, visit beunbound.us slash blimeycow to download your free full-length copy today. Again, that's beunbound.us slash blimeycow. Now, we got some more memes for Let's you get back to these memes. When she likes you as a brother in Christ. I like the snot coming down his nose too. I think that's yeah. a nice touch. I don't have anything to add to this one. <laughs> I was at Books A Million yesterday, and me and Amy passed the Mango place, and I said, Amy, this is where it all starts. I the, said that the man Manga? Ma ma oh, Manga. They said Mango place. <laughs> we, we passed the, no, the Manga, like the, okay. the book, and I yeah. said, Amy, this is where this is where people start, and they go down the bad path. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry to anybody who I, I think, that. You know, I think anime is a real double-edged sword. I think that there are some very good qualities to it, but I think it can take you down a dark path, too. What are the good qualities? I, I, I like the Japanese. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> We're getting politically correct now. Look, I like the Japanese, too. That has nothing to do with anything. I like the way they tell stories. <laughs> I don't think they've been Americanized. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Okay. Well, look, that's that's fine with me. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought it said shooting my shot with the pastor's wife. <laughs> I think that's even funnier. Now that's even that's <laughs> She is clothed in leggings and oversized shirts and eats without fear of the future. Probably me, 24-7. That is hilarious. That might be the funniest thing I've seen all day. I knew that you were gonna think that was funny. <laughs> she is cool. That was me last night. Pharaoh, <laughs> I have a great business opportunity for you. Israel life. Um, how is this not a pyramid scheme? <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Much like the let us pray joke. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are incredible. I'm amazed at those guys. They're like some of the most athletic human beings in, on the planet. Yeah. If you die tonight, heaven or hell, tell them the cow sent you. The cow sent me. <laughs> <laughs> me, God, help me strengthen my prayer life. God, haha, no problem, get over. <laughs> A lot of these would make me laugh even more, Josh, if I had watched Breaking Bad. I'm assuming this is what it is. Yeah, yeah this is like uh, one of the most intense sequences of the entire program. And it gets memed to death because it's funny out of context, but uh, within context, you're just like, because Skylar doesn't have the money. I, well, I was assuming, given her face. Yeah, Skylar didn't have the money. Okay, I'm only going to say this to you because I love you, okay? You're like a brother to me. But, um,. You literally are the worst person I've ever met. <laughs> like you're just an all around terrible human being. So yeah, can you really just take this to heart and allow it to change you from the inside out? 
Cause you really need that, <laughs> like badly. But bro, I love you, man. You are incredible. You're an amazing person. But um, yeah. Also, don't get offended by this, cause that's a sin, bro. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still blown away by how much of these related to my week. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking Well, about. that's what we're going to get into on the, the podcast. podcast. That's right. We'll learn more about how the memes relate to your week. Is that what the whole show is going to be? Mm-hmm. <laughs> guys, we got a lot of plans. <laughs> not just that. Not just that. Uh, it is going to be fun. I'm excited to get started on that. Okay. Uh, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs>